Oh, customer service number's already on there. Holy <laughs> Great. Well Can't wait. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our shared channel. We haven't filmed for a hot second. Uh, have we not? You were in another country. That is true. But today we're going to do an episode that's been in the works for quite a long time. And it's been in the works for quite a long time because this is something we ordered literally weeks ago. Guys, I, I don't even know how to... Obviously, we have some foods here, but it's all to test in this baby. Okay, so this is something we're actually considering calling a new show. Why would anyone ever buy this? <laughs> this, my friends, is a $300 toaster. I didn't know they made $300 toasters. <laughs> We've been testing a lot of food gadgets. I wasn't here for the ice cream maker, which I'm a little upset about. Look at how cute this is! Woo! Yeah, cheers! Yeah, cheers. It, it was phenomenal. I'm jealous. But then, um, what else we do? We did... We've made cocktails. Yes, we, made we Coffee, we've got coffee maker. Lil, that's gorgeous. Barista Lil's at your service. Then we had the Instant Pot, we put all the cheese in. And we made a and whole turkey made a dinner. A whole turkey dinner, I guess. It wasn't yes, a whole turkey. for one person. A whole turkey dinner. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Skin. <laughs> it's cooked. <laughs> And now we have the smartest toaster in the world. And I, this is what's going on. Fiona explained what it does and everything she said, I was like, so it's a normal toaster. But like, it says right here, it's not just a toaster. It's a revolution. So, could be okay. false advertising, so, but let's see. Who knew a toaster could be a lifestyle? So, what does it do differently than Okay, well let me just toaster. read a little bit about it for you, Lil. It features smart technology that toasts bread in a fraction of the time, locking in the flavor and producing your preferred browning at the level of crispness. Here's my thing though, like, do you have issues with your toaster not locking in the flavor of your toasted items? I've never. I wasn't dealt aware with that, that there was. There, I didn't know they were escaping. Also, um, a fraction of the time. Like, is this going to happen in one second? Like, how long do toasters take? Okay, so I've been eating a weird amount of blueberry bagels this is true. recently, this is true, yeah. which is strange because like I've never really liked blueberry bagels. I got a weird craving one day. Can't really explain it. Anyway, the Sara Lee ones, so good. They're very Pretty chewy. Moist. They're very I, chewy. They're, it's a very nice texture and moist. But <laughs> they are moist. <laughs> but so. I feel like to toast a bagel, it's like 20 seconds. And I'm someone that definitely doesn't want anything I'm toasting to be burned. Yeah. Otherwise, like, I'll throw it away. I love burned stuff. Really? Yeah, I do. I actually like things very crispy. I also only like traditional toasters. I hate toaster ovens. I have a bone to pick with them. Everybody acts like they're easy but, to use, and they're not. Wait, P.S. So, Jocelyn brought her toaster from home. Is this what you actually use? Let me tell you, Lily. Okay, I bought this that toaster 10 years ago on Black Friday at Kohl's. It cost me $9. It's Hamilton brand, and it has been working like a charm for a decade. Why don't you like toaster ovens? Because my problem right off the bat mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. make a pizza bagel in here. Well, yeah, I know, but you can put it in the oven oven. Toaster ovens act like they're all easy to use. They are not. It's a mini oven. What is the complicated part? They don't do what they say they're going to do ever. They have no follow through. But you know what? According to what the box on this puppy says, this is very intuitive. It's it's literally described as intuitive. Well, it's a touch screen and you can pick the color of whatever you're making to see how toasted it's going to get, which honestly, this... Okay, it's gorgeous. I like the... Uh, very aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, I like the aesthetic of it. So this is actually very easy to assemble. There's no assembly required, which I truly appreciate because many of the other food items we've purchased have been a journey to put together. You missed the ice cream maker. Don't drop it, don't drop it. What's happening? Oh! Okay. Hello. What's on? Um, Okay, oh. so what should we make first? A bagel? Do we want to do side by side with the antique toaster and the $300 toaster? I think so. I also have to add that when we're done doing a basic B, a basic bagel, I also got frozen pancakes, frozen waffles, so that we could test out the frozen variety. And then I got some Pop-Tart Buddies. Of course you would buy like not Pop-Tart brand Pop-Tarts. Well, I went to Trader Joe's. That's why I don't go to Trader Joe's because I need all my name brands. Listen, you That's do you. Strange. You do you. Here's the um, oh. instruction. A quick start guide. Unpack your toaster, place food in the toaster. I think we should just do a bagel to start. I think so too. Would you like right. blueberry or plain? Let's do blueberry. It smells so good. Thank you, Sarah. Max loves these. Oh, these smell great. And this actually this says right, right here, face the bagel inward. Yeah, let's put one in my antique as well. Which, are there different settings? Oh, right over here. Let's do like 
number four or five on this one. And then on this, we'll do like middle of the road toasting to see if like the fast toasting thing is actually true with this guy. Yeah, it's fresh. It okay, so four. And we have bagel. Okay, so you want to press start and I'll push okay. this down too. Wait, oh, this is a plug. Oh. <laughs> okay, are you ready? One, two, three, go. I would like everyone to see Ooh. how high quality Jocelyn's toaster is that it's not even straight. There's like probably, they both feel, go like. Lil, feel this. It, like, feel how hot that is instantly. So is the other one. Why are you guys acting like Shut toasters up. don't work like that? I've just never really thought about toasting this much. I'm really curious why why this costs. I'm dying at just like how like janky this is. Like it doesn't close all the way. I mean, it did cost $9. It's very rusted. Where's the loading screen on here? <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, it's a fun noise. Watch oh, that's, happens. four is very dark. And did you for... see how gorgeously it just rose It was from like the those ashes? doors that you like press and it like won't slam, like how they like. Look at how nice this is. Is this a good toast for you? I mean, I would prefer it to be significantly more done. Really? I would yeah. significantly less. Like I don't really? even, I don't wait for mine to be brown. It's still very warm, so I, I feel like this one's gonna like burst into flames. <laughs> it might. Blueberry bagels. Aren't they great? And I don't even like blueberries. Wow. I know. Do you use cream cheese or do you use butter? Almost like cream cheese. Oh, and it's done. It, it, Can you pull it out? Oh, okay. okay. Well, so four is much darker than. Oh, okay, well, oh my gosh, this is very warm. As you can see on the old school antique toaster, you can see the part that like didn't get suntanned at the top because it doesn't fit all the way in there in the hole. Because it's broken. <laughs> it's just very antique. Um, but if you look at the color on this one versus the $300 toaster. The flavor is definitely preserved. The flavor has been preserved and truly locked in. Um, do you feel as though that locks in the flavor better than your toaster at home? Because that's what this toaster says it does. I've never met a blueberry bagel, I did the one. It doesn't get hot on the outside, so if you have like kids uh, or wait, something. I, do, I actually do appreciate that because the number of times I've burned myself. Yeah. You said this was $10? Yeah, under 10. Black Friday sale. Honestly, is it worth it for me? No. Okay, here's And the, I can't make a pizza bagel on this. Only reason I would ever say, like spend the money to buy this, although I'm sure there are less expensive options. Where am I gonna make my pizza rolls? <laughs> It only makes sense that up next we do something frozen. Okay. <gasps> I've Ooh. never bought frozen pancakes. Do you think we can put these in there? They're silver dollar size. They're very small. No, probably not. It's Standard like or toaster. Standard or toaster oven. How cute are these? Just want to let you know, these guys are probably never coming out of that toaster. Okay, let's do it on the highest setting for this. Let's see how toasty we can get. I feel like it's going to charge the pancakes. Frozen. <laughs> they have a waffle selection. And then I hit seven. Um, looking for the waffle selection here. Oh, no. great. <laughs> oh, you gotta put it all the way over. There we go. It's literally gonna like catch on fire. I know, it'll be fun. Isn't it cool how this just lowers Is slowly? that worth $300 to have it look cool though? Does this do anything else? Can this do my taxes? Aren't there toasters that you can like upload a picture of yourself and then it will put it on your bread? Stop. I'm 99% sure. Really? I tried to find oh my toaster. God. The selfie toaster is only $75. Shut up. Why don't we buy that? Okay, the power just went out. <laughs> Too much power to the toaster. Did we just blow the power? Of that one. Yours is still thriving. Okay, here we go. Going all the way. Your antique is still holding strong. I'm telling you, it's gonna come out. It's truly outperforming charged. the $300 toaster. That many people are buying these? How many toasters I like that's gonna be sell the whole thing. every year? Wow! So in 2018, 17.4 million toasters sold in the US alone. What's, how many people are in the US? A lot. 327 divided by 17. Find. That means there's one toaster for every 23 people in this country. And we are spoiled because we have two and I there's was only like, five of us. I was like, that's pretty modest. <laughs> Toasters could be canceled and it wouldn't bother me at all. Like I could get by without a toaster if I have like a microwave, that's really the main thing I need no, to survive. I would die. With, really? Yeah. Do you use your toaster oven yes. that frequently? Every day. 
By the way, I'm getting a little worried. That has been cooking for like 10 minutes. Yeah, well, you wanted it dark, apparently. Yeah, what does it look like in there? It's got to be nearly on fire by this point. How long has it been in there? Like 10 minutes? Ooh. Okay, here, let me get you a little, let me get a little plate for you to plate that on. You might have to just flip it upside down. <laughs> oh no, see, I know they're stuck in there. That one is stuck in there. You're gonna have to stick a knife in, but you're gonna electrocute oh, damn it. yourself. Oh! Look at this. Hold up your waffle. Look at this one. Burn! On both sides, too. This is very uneven. <laughs> Shockingly. It's because the, the top part couldn't fit in the hole. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Let's look at them side by side. I've never heard of pancake crunch. Let's look at them side by side, though, and see the toasting levels. That, look at the charred edges on yours. This one definitely toasted. Oh, that's that's actually a lie. That's hot. That's hot. Coffee that was hot. hot. I love that we're eating these as if we're gonna have like some kind of verdict about what the toaster did. Like it worked. It did work, but it's um it's more crispy on the outside. So it's crunchier when you take a bite. Wouldn't you agree? Sure. <laughs> it definitely is faster. I just don't feel like I would need to upgrade my toaster situation to a $300 one no. just to save two minutes. No, no, no. I mean, I would rather take the $290 and, and like- And use it for delivery. Like use a Southwest flight, go somewhere cool. Maybe go to like Boise or something. We have one more thing we have to try. To make sure the toaster still works? Yep, and also we need to test out the art of Pop-Tarts. Okay, so I have strawberry, and I guess I'll put them in facing inward because that's what the trend has been. There's a setting on here for pastries. Oh. These Trader Joe ones aren't as uh, aren't as fancy. pretty as the no. start. I do like that this one does like the elevator. Sorry, what did you put? I don't want to. Put Maybe just do middle of the road. Vibes. Do like a three. Yeah, let's just call them really quick and see what's going on. Oh God, she's calling I'm calling service. customer service. I actually love this and think it's great. Monitored and recorded for quality and training purposes. Yours too. <laughs> Due to the popular demand of our new R180 high-speed smart toaster, all consumer care specialists are currently assisting other customers. What? Well, please hold. So are they all broken? <laughs> I'm gonna hold for a little bit. Nope. That's actually, it uh, feels like a very good texture. Thank you for calling Revolution Cooking Consumer Care. My name is Marie. May I have your first and last name and phone number in case we can Sure. My name's Jocelyn Davis. Got the Smart Toaster. Love it. So cool. So far I've tried out some frozen pancakes, some frozen waffles, bagels. I haven't done toast yet, but I'm wondering, is there anything else we can cook inside of this that I'm missing? Right now it really is mainly for the bagels, um, the toast, and the toaster pastries. Anything that, you know, is meant to be toasted, not something that you would put in a toaster oven per se, but you know, you could do waffles and different things mm. like that in it. So not like um, bagel bites or anything like that? I think they would be too small. If it's got like things on it, like cheese and different things like that, you don't want that oh, melting inside yeah. of it. That's true. How do you clean it? Well, really the only thing that needs to be done is the tray, the crumb tray on the bottom. Well, oh my gosh, I didn't even notice that in the front. How cool. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah, you just off it, pop it back in there and you can just wipe down the outside of it. I have to say, I do think this thing is pretty smart. Do you make any other smart stuff? Not at this time, the toaster's all that we have. But visit our uh, website at revco.com to look for new items. Amazing, definitely will. Loving the toaster, um, would totally yeah. love it. If you guys would consider doing like a smart winemaker, I would be so about buying that too. That's a good idea actually. Uh, I, I agree. Yeah, I will. Take I note will. of that. Um, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Well, thank you so much, Marie. I, I just um, want to let you know I'm really loving the toaster. It's great. I'm going to keep using it. Well, I appreciate you taking the time out to let us know that. Thank you for calling Revolutionary Cooking. You have a good day. You too. Bye. Marie was sweet. I, this um, oh. is what happened to it started leaking. Um, is it good though? Take a bite. It smells not good. These came out, I think. The Smart Toaster. Yeah, the Smart Toaster did. I, I do like mine nearly burned though. I think the only thing so far that this is really like a front runner for is the uh, Pop-Tarts. 100%.
Do you know what they should have done? This should be clear so you can see what's going on inside. That would have been That would have been very smart. Why are we inventing things? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I do know. All right, well, my final thoughts are this. I think this is amazing. Shocking. Super love it. Think it's fantastic. Would probably never buy it with my own personal money because. But she would rave about it to everyone else yeah. and encourage you to buy it. Main thing I love about this, you already know what it is. This little tray. Look how easy it is to clean this out, okay? Look, it's clean now. Slide it back in there. What a dream. What a to, dream. I hate to break this to you, but um, you realize that's how you clean most toasters? D no. My Not, toaster doesn't have that, Yeah, well, it? that's because yours is from 1980. Well, so don't hate on antiques. Um, anyway. Would you guys ever buy this? I'm that's assuming no, because it's a $300 toaster that doesn't do anything besides toast. But uh, as we mentioned at the beginning of this episode, we've done a lot of stuff with cooking and food. And today we're going to be giving away our ice cream maker. Did you oh, know I didn't, that? No, I didn't. Surprise. Yeah. But here is the catch. You must be one of our patrons. I'm like, what's the catch? This is all news to me. <laughs> oh, so yes, go become a patron, uh, patreon.com slash shared. And you will also get episodes early, which mm -hmm. is nice. But then I think the big thing here is that you potentially get an ice cream maker. And it's pretty fantastic. Fiona and I made some super yummy ice cream, so you could do it for your next party. We are going to she be, can do it anyway. Yeah, we are going to be keeping the smart toaster though because I think we like it. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you would like us to do next. And if you have any products that you're like, why would anyone buy that? Let us know so that we can buy it. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Thank you for watching. I grew up before toaster ovens. I don't think we oh, had those. We didn't. <laughs> yeah, I wish we had hair nets. I was actually just got scared my hair would get caught in there. Jesus. Are there any like rules like don't do certain things? Jocelyn's not allowed to use it, it says. <laughs>